everybody, this is your boy Darplay at XX of Dark Enforcers, aka Black Hawk Division Leader for DCO. What's good, guys? As the title of this video is called, Stature Vamp is back on test servers. That's right, it's back on test servers. As of January 5th, 2017. Although, truth be told, the stats revamp came back on servers the day before the 4th, but whatever. Okay, so how did I find out about this? I was actually on Twitter when I saw a post on there, and then I jumped right on the forums, and then I saw this post right here. As you guys know, the Anti-Monitor Anniversary event started yesterday, and also the stats revamp <laughs> came back on test servers. Nice, right? So let's get into that real quick. Also, I want to say, yeah, sorry, this video is a whole lot of nothing, which I will explain later. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. It's, it's, it's really a whole lot of nothing. But I'm just giving you guys information, letting you guys know and informing you that test server is back if you wish to test it out. And I hope I get as many people as I can to actually test this out. But anyway, let's get on with this. Also, anybody who's seen my videos on Stats Revamp, you guys know that I pretty much read everything word for word or as close as possible to what the devs are saying. I might change a word here or there to make it a little bit more easier for most people to understand, but for the most part, I read everything word for word because it's from the developers' mouths themselves. As such, you can read along, which is why I have the post there on the screen, or you can just listen to me as I say what it's on the screen. Is up to you whether you want to listen or read. Anyway, let's get started. Hello, DCUO. The public test service is back online with the latest version of the stats revamp. Now, even though it says the latest version, it's still 1.1, so don't get it twisted. It, it's still 1.1. What's going on is they haven't really changed anything at all. All we're really doing is instead of testing out the early leveling stages, now we're going to the in game content. So, in other words, you know, in-game DLC, aka everything past level 30. That's the duos, the raids, the alerts, you know what I'm saying? All the in-game content, that's what in-game means. Anyway, this round of testing will be aimed at gathering feedback, well, power set feedback from players in in-game content, Amazon Fury Part 3 and raids. Why? Before making decisions and further adjustments to power sets, we want to get as much feedback as possible. AKA, not that much has changed, which is why I said a whole lot of nothing in this video. But oh well. We have feedback from leveling characters and early tiered characters, but we do not have the feedback from players at high end in modern content with appropriate skill points and stats. Little has changed from now and the last time the stat revamp was testable. But we do have a fresh new player database that can level your characters to in-game, or whatever you choose, and really get you into testing what's possible in content you have freshly played on live. All characters will start at level 30, have 170 skill points, and will be able to utilize the test vendors to attain gear appropriate to whatever content you wish to play, or want to play. Alright, so that's pretty much it right there. There's nothing else I can really report. This is only the second day of the test. They're not changing anything, as you just read right there. They haven't made any changes to any of the cooldowns, to any of the power sets in any shape, way, or form. Because they want to see how stuff performs at the in-game level f f and then like see if they want to make changes. They don't want to make changes based just on low-level things. Because then it will have a bigger impact or a small impact or, you know, or possibly no impact at all. When it hits the high end, they want to make sure that everything's balanced and scales up a little bit. So, with that being said, there's not any changes to report. Only thing I can report so far is that people are actually being pretty smart about the loadouts this time around. Since everybody's level 30, everybody has access to every single power. That's how Statue Vaps works. There are no more power trees. Once you hit level 30, you have unlocked every power and you can put any power you want into your loadout. So with that being said, a lot of people are being a lot smart with their loadouts. They're finally realizing that the weapon buff is just for your weapon. So putting it into a tray only loadout will actually make your tray only loadout not work at all. <laughs> people are actually realizing that. 
Now there are a few bugs on test server. Um, well, the most notable, so, uh, noticeable bug is probably the snow double. Because of the cooldown on snow double, people are being able to summon two snow doubles right now. Um, I don't know if that's intended. I'm, I'm calling it a bug because I'm guess it's not intended for you to be able to spawn multiple pets. Uh, I don't even want to call it a pet. It's really just a dot, but whatever. I don't know if it's. A, I, I'm guessing it's a bug. <laughs> So people are actually spawning to those, which I, I can only imagine how the damage is going. Um, it's not, it hasn't been reported if the damage has doubled, you know, because if you have the pet, you, you expect them to both be attacking. It has not been noticed if the damage has doubled, or if you just have two out there and only one's doing an attack. That hasn't been shown yet, but the fact of the matter is we see two snow devils out there on the field. Anyway, let's get to the next part, how to test. As you can imagine, you need to head over to the forums themselves. So, you know, the actual forums. I don't, I don't really know how much else to explain right here. Head over to Daybreak Games and then go to the forum area, DCUO. There will be a link in the description, so you can just click there if you need to go to it. But anyway, once you go to the forums, go to the post that says even more stats revamp 1.1 at the bottom will have instructions such as the follows download and log into the test servers once logged in you will need to create a brand new character create a new one as ice mental electricity visit the vendors in the HQ to equip yourself properly play in-game content with the focus on Amazon Fury part 3 all of it and other raids after you get done playing that, testing out different things such as playing from the tray versus not playing from the tray. You need to test everything. But I, I, I understand some people are only going to want to test one thing and I, I guess that's fine. But anyway, once you get done with that, return to the test forms and share your experience directly in the appropriate dreads that you see on the screen there. Once you're actually on the forms, you can just click where you want to go. Okay, also, when you're there, make sure that you let them know, like, what was your experience at high level? Is it the same or different from your prior testing when you were at low level testing it out? So this is really just for the testers, no one else. Anyway, this will help, will help us immensely if you also post your test server character's name, power, level, CR, with your feedback. And then here's a list of all the other forms that you need to actually go into if you're actually going to post stuff. If you're posting strictly about powers, you need to go into the proper form. Anything else in your post will probably be deleted. So if it's about stash revamp in general that you want to comment on, you need to go into the proper form. Also, there's a form for people who are non-testers. There is a form for non-testers. That means people who are not testing out the game. That is the only place you can actually post something out on. If you're posting on something and you're on a place that's not for you, your post will get deleted and you may get banned from the forums itself. Keep that in mind, the developers even say that. And it's right there. It is imperative that these test forums dredge remain only for the feedback from testers. Off-topic comments from those not testing will be removed. General questions and comments from non-testers about the overall revamp should stay in the thread and feedback should be posted in the appropriate thread above. I'm just going to say it again because they say it earlier in other posts. Anybody posting in forums that are not a tester that's in a testing form, those posts will be removed and you may be banned, maybe permanently, from the forums. Keep that in mind. So you definitely want to make sure that you're in the appropriate form. Okay, pretty much, if you're reading this right here on the actual form, that's the only place you're allowed to post. Just I'm just saying it. So the picture right now that I have up there, which is, I'm going to say the title again, it's called Even More Stats Revamp 1.1. That's the only place you can go to to post your comments if you're not testing. Alright, tips and requests from the team. 
Compare your experiences putting in many of your points into power and playing heavily from the tray versus putting many of your points into precision and playing heavily with your weapon. Play with different amounts of points into your crits to feel how useful or how not useful these points are. Use mods. Note that Snow Devil has been fixed and will now do appropriate amounts of damage. Note that some tooltips have not been yet updated. Do not use movement ability mode abilities as they have not yet been updated. Alright, so let's just go over a few things first, uh, things that I know. Alright, a lot of people on test right now are testing out Heavenly, playing from the tray. And a lot of them aren't going into power whatsoever, so then they're saying playing from the tray is not possible. Well, you're not putting anything into power. So yeah, of course it's not possible. You're not getting enough power back to play from the tray. Then some people are putting a small amount of their SP into it and still not being able to play. Like, for instance, they have 170. Uh, p skill points. Some people are putting in 50 or a little bit more than that and they still can't play it from the tray the way they want to. Well, it's it's be understandable. It, it really has to be 50-50 or more heavenly into power than that for you to play from the tray. So yeah, with 170 skill points you're not going to be able to get everything you want. You, you're going to want to go heavenly into might. You're going to want to go heavenly into crit, but you can't because you got to go into power. So yeah, it's gonna take a lot more skill points than just 170 you're gonna have to really like put most of your points into power and then put the few you want either into might or into the crits I'm going to suggest the crits though so just to be real the gear is going to give you your might so I'm going to suggest heavenly into crits if you think about it what's giving you crits like as far as might and precision your gear is giving you that your weapons giving you that if you put mods into your gear, what they su do suggest, your mods are giving you that. What's giving you crits? Not a damn thing. So that's what you need to put your skill points into. Just my suggestion, as they say, do what you want. This is testing after all, right? Do what you want, those are my suggestions. Also, that's all I have to say right now on Stats Revamp. As I said, this is only the second day, so there isn't a lot to report. I will try to keep you guys as updated as possible on Stats Revamp. Of course, I'll be doing the um, anniversary event too, so expect a video on that soon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. This is Darkblade X X said Dark Enforcers, aka Blackhawk, the Visual Leader for DCUO. Dark Enforcers, Darkness Rises.